and welcome to a brand new playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 as Japan as I promised and as requested Kaiser Reich I wanted to do something to change things up and I've been messing around with a couple apps mods sorry I've been messing around with a couple mods off camera and Black Ice is not very stable. Kaiser Reich seems stable. So let's just go over generally what happened in the Kaiser Reich world. Everything that led up to World War I was absolutely the same. World War, world War I, the Great War, progresses the same. The difference is the Kaiser steps in Germany and decides not to allow unrestricted submarine warfare and the US never gets involved in the war. Germany wins the war. When Germany wins the war all the problems that popped up in Germany pop up elsewhere. Britain goes communist. France goes communist. The Royals run to Canada. Russia never goes communist. So they don't have, uh, I think they had the com communist revolution and they put it down. So who's actually in charge of Russia? Russian Republic. So the Tsars still are not in command. But they also lost control of some of the outlying areas like the Ukraine, white, whatever. That's probably a German puppet. But they lost uh, control of some of these areas. The Ottoman Empire is still in existence. Austria-Hungary end up breaking up anyways into the Austrian Empire and the Hungary. I was going to say Hungarian Empire, but it's Kingdom of Hungary. And when France went communist, the non-communists flee to Africa. Sultan of Morocco. I don't know if that's a puppet or what. It's a German puppet. Okay. So anyways, without turning around wasting any more time, since I've already wasted three minutes, let's go to the important stuff, Japan, since that's what we're playing. Go skip. Japan has a bunch of garrison units. These are garrisons. Get it. These are the army, the divisions on the mainland. Cav and infantry. Get it. And these are the divisions that are on islands, whether the home islands or the outlying home islands. Well, Taiwan is a, a home island, but still, you get my point. The garrison divisions are Kill scattered all over. I have not looked at the Navy situation, but there are a lot of fleets. Looks like a total of 24 fleets. And we're going to have to put them all in a single location and beef them up. Now, when we look at the focus tree. Oh, I did already assign the research. It's the same research. I did not notice any difference. So I went basic machine tools, construction, mechanical computing, and... Type 3 heavy machine guns, type 11 mortars. I did rename the units into something in English. But the focus, the focus is different. Now looking at this monstrosity, I glanced it over and to be perfectly honest with everyone, I was overwhelmed. So, if I don't go the direction you like, my apologies, people. I'm not perfect. But I'm going to go military expansion because they'll give me 50 political power. 
I'm also limited by date on the National Security Act. I can't do it before June. But anyways, let's go ahead and do military expansion. Start this up in slow speed. Because I actually just want to see what happens to our insufficient resources, which are not changing. We have a massive shortage on resources. What is our trade set for? Oh, free trade. That's probably why we have a massive deficit on resources. Hirohito is in power, not Tojo. So let's go ahead and start trading for some of this stuff. We'll get the minimum for now. I don't want to trade with the German Empire. I'll trade with Siam. They might end up an ally. Ooh, Caribbean Federation. Sounds good. And trade for some steel. Wow. I guess I'll trade with the USA. Now this is going to leave us short, but not as short as before. What does this do to our construction? Rips it a new a-hole. It's horrendous. Our production, infantry weapons, support equipment, towed artillery. Fighters, carrier fighters, close air support, carrier naval bombers, 10 destroyers are being produced, and we have plans for convoys in the future. Can't believe how much that tore our construction up. Okay, let's see. Profits from Legation Cities. Following the 1926 German intervention in China, the Treaty of Nanjing signed in November of that year, foreign trade was left to the richest cities on the coast under joint control of the world's powers owning interests in China. The independence of these consortium of cities was guaranteed by ten powers, Austria, Asia, Austria, Canada, Flanders, Wallonia, Germany, Italy, Japan, National France, Russia, and USA. Foreign investments and legation cities themselves flourish not only through foreign trade, but also thanks to smuggling into Algalstin and Qing territories. Okay, that's that one. And Qing territories. Where was I at? Uh, despite the ongoing economic crisis, our investment in legation cities are still bringing us grand profits. Let the money flow. Anyways, basically, I don't believe you can say fascism rises in this game. I could be wrong, there could be a fascist set just waiting to rear its ugly head. But communism, you have three general factions. You have the faction trying to overthrow the victorious German faction. So you could call them not necessarily allies, but more democracy-oriented. You have the old guard, which is still in power because they were never overthrown by World War I. They could be weakened, like in the situation of Great Britain, which is now in Canada or it could be 
like Austria Hungary, they were split. The Ottoman power, uh, Ottoman Empire is weakened, but still in existence. Even Germany is right now a, basically a paper tiger. So you're left with the friction between the communists, the anti-communists, and the friction between the old guard and everyone else. Assassination of President Kerensky. Uh, on the way to the Senate, this sounds like the U.S. Kerensky was able to... No, no, that was uh, Russia. So, the President of Russia was shot. Now, as for what happened to Lenin, I'm not really sure. I know I need to speed this up. We need to take a look at our production, our uh, logistics. Not bad, not bad. So those units were basically full strength because I'm only training one division. Something that's really awkward about the game is usually when it starts a new game, you won't find out what your true logistic situation is until this situation updates. And how I'm going to deal with this, I'm not really sure. I'm going to be in a situation where obviously my civilian factories are uglier than I realized. Because I had planned on doing three factories and then a bunch of military. That's not going to work. This should be a puppet. Autonomous dependency. Uh oh. Recovering from the lost decade. 1920s were marked by economic depression and political instability in Japan. The plight was particularly severe among the agricultural sector. Gami Sharu. Political power minus 200. Gain base national unity minus 20%. Bad news is the foreign power uh, policy rework is not complete in time of 05. Oh. Okay. As for Japan, it's not polished. They're treated as other nations, so bugs are expected. Okay, that's just a message from. The mod rider. And of course I get 50 political power. You got popularity. This is something you can't touch. Actually you can touch it. I was thinking about a different one. Downfall and stability. Alright, let's get rid of this. Due to our recent lack of political power, our country stability has been weakened. We're now considered unstable. Great. Mahatsu declares record earnings. What? So, what just happened? Mayatsu declares record earnings. Maybe I should have read that in detail. Since I was looking at the puppets, I just assumed, unless... Legation cities... Dissolution of the Diet. Well, 
Okay, that gives us some political power. Political power change is only 1.13 per day. Our unity for Japan is 40%. And low stability lowers it down to 30%. We're on the edge of civil war. This I was not expecting. All right, let's send everyone someplace. Looks like there's already stuff there, so. Send all of our fleets. Hopefully we won't, we aren't sending them someplace where they will all join a civil war against the emperor. That would hurt my feelings. Oh, I missed one. Oh. That's our new one. We're already finishing destroyers? Nice. I would really hate to cancel some production because I need to build up my civilian resources. That would really depress me. I would feel like FDR almost would be gutting the military just so I can save the people. But I'm not FDR. I'm Hirohito. The people shall overcome. They are Japanese. Our research situation is actually pretty damn good. I mean, we've got most 36 ships. Uh oh, Black Monday. 3rd of February 1936, the Berlin stock market stopped sinking and it plunged. Fueled by instability in the market panics, selling erupted as soon as the stock market opened on Monday morning. It took well into the night for the teleprinters to stop sputtering out the results of what became known as Black Monday. When the results had been anal analyzed, it was clear that the situation had only got worse. The shock of this unprecedented economic catastrophe will no doubt be felt. Will no doubt be felt over the entire world. The German Golden Age has come to an end. All right. The Fifth Anglo-Afghani War. Who cares about Afghanistan? Good point. Mission from Norway. The Kingdom of Norway. Political power minus 20. Ah, I need political power. But 75 units of Japanese convoy is nice. I'll take it. Let's get rid of that. Now we have to pick another focus can I no I can't pick that one yet rising sun not till 37 well I guess we'll just pick military direction I may have to turn off the national focuses if we keep on losing political power. Stability is very important in the uh, Kaiser Reich, which I like it. It's interesting. Did... No, it hasn't affected our political power change. We're still getting 1.13 a day.
Let's speed this up again. Apologize on getting a late start with this. I was trying to figure out what the problem was with GeForce. I thought I'd figured it out. One of my C++ files has become corrupted. I replaced it. I replaced it. I replaced it. And GeForce was working when I tested it. Well, I tried to start recording with GeForce and I couldn't. So I don't know what the hell is up now. So I'm using Windows again. I hate Windows. Alright, let's back this down and read this. General elections of 1936. Political power or lose political power. The Reken Tsukiyuki. You know this is going to cause problems. We're still at 51%. But that is the Emperor, I think. Let's go for the political power. You know it's going to cause repercussions. You just know it. A lot of the focus tree is limited by date. Since all of our ships are in the same place, I'll split them into fleets off camera. Uh oh. The assassination of Katayama Sen. Yep, we lose 60 political power. Probably should have took the political power loss, the initial one. I'm just too much of a damn optimist. Just so you know, I am playing on recruit level. This will be my first complete playthrough in this mod. I've messed around with it, but I've never played through on it, so I don't know what to expect. That we will have to find out. For all I know, my puppet could rebel against me, and we're going to have to send our military against them. Okay, we finished military direction. Disagreements within army leadership. I will choose wisely. Okay. So what caused the... The Iron Guard of Romania has caused... Oh, the remilitarization of something. It's a European thing. Strengthen the command hierarchy. So which grand battle plan strategy, okay. I don't like the grand battle plan. But we would get division recovery rate increase of 10% over there and an electronics bonus. Total war readiness. Place low stability with average stability. Okay. The Japanese people are bouncing back. I like that. First International Congress. That's a socialist thing. We're Japan. We will never be socialist. Mass assault doctrine. Increases recruitable population 1.5%. 
three and a half percent. Wow. Six and a half percent. And six and a half percent. And gives us two uh fifty percent bonuses. Then we got superior firepower, which gives us artillery bonus. Another superior firepower doctrine bonus for a total of three. Division organization, division speed. And then the uh, initiative and mobility blitzkriegs. Mobile warfare doctrine, two. Gives a tank research bonus and a division attack bonus. I'm going to go the human tsunami. I'm going to go the mass uh, assault doctrine. Hopefully Japan has enough population to do this. Well, it's not there. Population is 65 million core. With all of those bonuses, 6.5%, and there's also more bonuses in the Mass Assault Doctrine itself, I hope it'll pay off. Okay, we are still on speed 3. We've only gone four months. Pretty damn sad. But I am still trying. Virtually within the Japanese left. What? What do you mean Japanese left? Interesting development. Political power minus 40. Well, since... I suppose if they're killing themselves, then that will cause problems for the government. Never mind. I was going to say, but we're not left government. We serve the Emperor. What are my goals for Japan? I don't know. I've been arguing with uh, G-Force trying to get the damn thing to work. Not sure what my goals are for Japan. World domination? Too passe. We'll see what happens. We'll see where this uh, mod takes us. That will be That will be our goal to see where in the hell this mod takes us. Because I don't think the traditional forced ending works in any mod. So we're just going to have to play this by ear. I have been messing around with Black Ice and Millennial Dawn. Black Ice, massive crash issues. I like it. It's difficult to play on a speed faster than two. It's that there's that much going on with black ice. Ma click their war on Mongolia. Okay, we got a couple things. A couple research slots. Let's go concentrated industry. Of course. This was our support equipment. We want to go trucks. We can't really afford to build trucks, though. But we also can't build field hospitals until we build damn trucks. Let's go mass assault doctrine. We got the bonus. Let's use it. And we have the, what he said. Our very first division. Get them training. I am going to actually sit on my ass until June. So I can do the National Security Act. Can't do it till after June 1st. Let's speed this up and try to get to June 1st before we are out of time. We are almost out of time. Oh, political power minus 100. Damn it, man, that hurt.
And we did get past June 1st, so let's go ahead and start that. National Security Act. And with that, we will end this right here. Hey, I want to thank all of you for watching this. I hope you enjoy this new series. Don't worry, I will be going back sometime in the future and do Japan in normal vanilla mode. But, you know, I just wanted to mix it up and do something different. So until I see y'all again next time, bye-bye.